there friends, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here, and today we're going to be talking about a very simple technique called the pick rest. And in fact, this is one of, in fact, this is probably the first actual guitar lesson that I teach all my students here in Nashville, and also the, one of the first lessons that you'll find in my free 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. The link is below. It's free. Check it out if you are a beginner or if you're an intermediate or advanced player and you have some holes in your playing, you may wanna cover the basics and that is those first 30 lessons. Very specific, um, so check that out. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the pick rest today and basic the basic uh, picking technique. So uh, in another video, I talked about how to hold the pick in the proper posture and all that. But what I've found is that there's a way to approach the strings, and it's very simple, but if you don't know it, if you don't know the trick, if you don't practice the trick, you just aren't gonna get it. So it's still very, very simple, but a lot of people don't do this in the beginning, and it makes it way harder for them to play. So if we know these tricks and we practice them, it makes things easier, okay? So let's talk about it. So. In order to practice the pick rest, and what this, this pick rest is, is a technique that not a lot of instructors uh, show, and I don't know why they don't, but I found that it really helps with all these issues. So if you do this, if you practice this, it's going to really help develop some bits and pieces, and it's really gonna help develop your picking technique in all manners of ways, okay? So the idea is this, you wanna take the pick, and you're gonna start at the sixth string, this thick string right here, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're going to pick the note and you're going to rest the pick on the string that is below the string you just picked. So here I'm picking six and resting on five. I don't have to have this hand on the guitar at all, my left hand. So that's the idea, very simple. But what happens most of the time when I'm teaching this even is folks will, they'll miss entirely what I'm saying, like you might have already and that's okay. And they'll pick and they'll just kind of wildly throw their hand out here, okay? The whole point of this exercise is that you're making a very small movement and that you're resting the pick on the following string. Some of the fastest guitar players do this in between every single pick. And they may pick 20 notes in a second, but every single time they're actually resting that pick on the next string. Now it's happening, it's happening very quickly, but there is, there's something to say about it. It's kind of like uh, rails uh, on a road or, or bumpers in a bowling game, okay? It keeps you where you're supposed to be, lets you know what the parameters, and it's just a good protocol. Protocol is something you do the same thing every time. Um, this is really gonna help a lot. So what you're gonna do to, the takeaway from this is you're gonna practice this on all six strings, one string at a time, then two strings, and then three strings, then four strings, and five strings, so like this. So at first, I'm just gonna do one. And you may sit here and do this, practice this for a half hour the first day. The whole point is, every single time, that pick is resting on the next string. If that's bored, if that's boring for you, you could practice something like this. If you know how to fret already, if you don't, that's okay. I got a video for that in the free 30 lessons that you can find in the link below. But this is what you're gonna do. Then you're gonna go down to the next string, the fifth string. And you're only gonna practice this with downstrokes. You don't have to practice this with upstrokes. It's really just the downstrokes that's gonna help develop everything else, okay? Plus, we don't tend to pick wildly when we pick up. We just kinda of do, do a small movement. These downstrums, we tend to do more than that. So you're gonna practice this on all the strings, and after you go through those, well, the first string you won't have to do it on because there's nothing to rest on, but you can do it through six through two. And then you're gonna practice two strings at a time. Now this is where the technique really starts getting refined and what happens is you really start getting keen to what's happening on the guitar because in order to keep it from sounding like this, which is two separate notes, we were trying to go for this sound. So we're 
hitting both of those notes as closely to the same time as possible. And then we're resting on the string below that. So here I'm picking six and five and resting on four. Now this takes a little getting used to. You'll have to hold the pick at different angles. You know, some folks will, will, will want specifics. Well, what angle is that? It's gonna be different for everybody because you're holding your hand differently. So this is where practice comes in. And this is where as you do this more, you're gonna, you're gonna just start getting it and going, that Eric guy, he's smart. And you know something? You'd be right. My mom tells me I'm smart all the time. <laughs> all right, so, so you're gonna practice two strings at a time. Then you're gonna practice three strings at a time and then four strings at a time. And as you increase this, what happens is you have to be more accurate every time because you're doing more strings. And what you're going for is that solid sound. If you do this and just concentrate on your picking, then what happens when you go to the fretting, that's gonna be a lot easier because you'll have this part taken care of already. It's kind of like juggling, right? If you're juggling three balls and that's difficult, adding a fourth ball isn't gonna make it easier. Drop back to two. That will be easier once you get that down. Then you add the third ball. Make sense? Of course it does. All right, my friends, this is part of the first 30 lessons that I teach all my students here in Nashville. Come on and see me here in Nashville and I'll do it. We'll do it we'll one-on-one -on -one here uh, in Nashville or Take advantage of those free lessons by clicking the link below. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up and subscribe. Leave your comments below. I'm on Twitter and Facebook. Would love to help you out there. Uh, I answer a lot of comments in all those different places. So as always, please be kind to one another, spay and neuter your animals, and don't trust the man. See ya.